Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, these live FC Fantasy cards finally start to get some upgrades. Guys, a lot of cards are getting upgraded today. Some SBC players, some players you may be invested in. We got to talk about it. What are these cards going to look like? When are they going to get upgraded exactly? And how is it going to impact the market? Those are the questions we are going to answer today as there are literally a lot of cards getting boosted stats today on this game. But there's also other things going on like a brand new team of the week, including a big name featured player and an SBC that a lot of us did on Sunday that is refreshing again today that might be asking for some of your middle to high rated fodder. We'll take a look at that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content and talk about two specific things. One player SBC and an evolution that is moving some things in this game right now. First of all, the player SBC to Debo. He was leaked. We figured that he was coming and he was dropped. Now, what we didn't expect was EA to make this a 87 pace center back. That is a lot of pace for a center back. Yes, he only has one play style plus, but if you look a little bit deeper into the card, this is a really, really good center back card, guys. 87 pace obviously catches your eye, but then you go to the play styles and you see jockey block intercept plus anticipate and bruiser he's also got long ball pass and rapid this is a really really good card play styles mean so much in this game for a gameplay perspective this is a really really good card because the play styles he's six foot three medium high um he does have decent passing stats as well 90 short passing great defending great physical we've had a lot of french center backs recently right like body and the in the last couple of weeks have come out i think this card is clear of them both and he has the potential to get upgrades, right? That's the thing with this card that makes it so interesting. 87 pace that could go to 89, 90. If he were somehow able to get all four upgrades, 91 pace potentially with a plus four overall upgrade. And of course, since this card is live, it's got a little bit of that activated into the price, added into the price, 207,000 coins for Tadebo. It's a little steep. 26% upvoted. I think people are just tired of French center back SBCs. I think that's why the SBC is downvoted per se. But this card is actually decent, man. And here's the thing. If you don't know if you want to do this SBC or not, or if it's worth the craft, wait for today. They play Montpellier today in the league. If they win, if they keep a clean sheet, that means this card could be getting upgraded to an 88 or an 89 rated, probably just an 88 in the first week, right? They have to keep a clean sheet um, to get the upgrade started for the first one for sure. But this card could start to get upgraded here very soon, and today's progress towards those upgrades would be a huge key to maybe deciding whether or not to do the SBC. You've got actually 13 days, two weeks in total to get this done, and I think his second league game will happen while the SBC is still alive as well. So you can really get a good idea if it's going to be worth it to do if all you care about is the upgrades by the time this SBC goes away. So this is actually nice. When it came out, I was like, hmm. Not the greatest, but that 87 pace at this stage of the game, that puts him above a lot of other center backs that, I mean, we haven't had that many center backs that are this price that are that high in pace. So I think that's pretty important with the play styles that he has for that card. Decent SBC. So definitely watch out for that game today. We also have the 86 plus winter wild cards. I think I even mentioned this in yesterday's video. They just love refreshing these SBCs, changing the most minute detail and re-releasing them. It's still Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, Wild Card, and the FC Versus cards in this and winter wild cards, but it's a one of four instead of a one of three, and it's 86 rated instead of 87. So they give you one extra slot in the gamble here. It's still an 83 with a team of the week in 85. Um, 82,000 coins is what this is coming into. If you want to craft it up, go for it. If you don't, that's completely fine too. I'm kind of, I think, feeling myself wanting to go after player SBCs more so right now than an 86 plus like this. Rolfo, um, maybe even Ginola if you're going after that, but Scott, Todibo, even some of the cheaper player SBCs, that has more interest for me especially with the upgrades coming out today there's going to be a lot of people thinking about getting cards that could upgrade and get better stats there's more interest for me in that than there is a gamble player pick like that but that is there if you want to go ahead and give that a craft and let's talk about evolutions because that was the other spot of the game where there was interesting things moving yesterday we had another glow up evolution right we've had evolutions like this before multiple times this year where you take a real low rated card and you get to boost them pretty high this is cool i mean we always love evos like this now there's also some things about this that are not cool but let's start with the positive right you get a huge stat boost we're talking what is it like plus 
19 passing from this trade right card goes from 72 to 91. You get, it's like, like plus 10 or more in every single stat category on the card. It is a huge boost. You also get the incisive pass playstyle plus, which is a very, very good playstyle plus. And it's a maximum 72 rated overall. So what, you can put a lot of players into this. There are a lot of options you can put into this evolution. Players like Matisse Tell, giving him one of his best overall versions. Actually, this is this is not his only Evo version, but it's one of his best versions that you can get just straight up putting him in this Evo for 100,000 coins. 89 pace, 87 dribbling, 87 shooting. I think Fosu Mensa is one of the most OP cards that you can put in this Evo as well with the Leverkusen links. He's a center back with 87 pace, 90 physical, 85 defense, 82 passing, and 77 dribble. I mean, the only problem here, guys, is a lot of the cards you're going to end up doing and getting out of this are not going to have very many play styles, and there's no weak foot or skill move upgrades or work rate upgrades inside of this. And a lot of those silver and bronze players that you might want to put in are like medium, medium, or medium, low, or something like that, where the work rates aren't the best, the skill moves and weak foot are not the best. And that just kind of creates a scenario here where this is a really cool evolution, but it's 100,000 coins. It's a lot of games. you got four to three different segments in this. I guess it's not that many games, but it's a little bit of a grind. But it's 100,000 coins, and I think the weak foot skill move work rates would have been necessary upgrades to make a card like this truly usable. This one, for me, is one that I don't know if I'm going to get done right away. you got 20 days to do it. It might just be one that I look at as more of a sentimental value one. If there's somebody that you have not evolved yet that you want to evo, then maybe you put them into this and get them to a more usable card for like just a fun team. But I don't think this Evo really creates a meta player per se. It also makes the rating of the player very high. Like check out Kenny Lala, a FIFA legend of the past couple of years, now a silver card. This is like one of his better Evo cards, the best Evo card he's gotten. You take him all the way up to a 90 rated with those stats, you're not going to be able to Evo this card again probably for a while. So I would say do this if you're interested in a specific player that fits this evolution. For me, there's nobody that pops off the screen that I want to do right away with this. Um, there are a couple Evo combinations you need to be careful of because they don't actually fit like this Cold Palmer. I mean, here's the thing, guys. With Evos like this, silver card prices go bananas. This Cold Palmer is going up a ton. Fosu Mensa was 9,000 coins yesterday. He's 5K right now. Matisse Tell is expensive because his card does look decent. Alessandrini... Um, I think was even inflated in price as well. I can't do that Evo since I already have done him. But he's 2,000 coins. If you have a lot of these silvers or any of the silvers in your club, check through 72 rated and below silvers that are in your club for tradable ones that might sell for inflated prices for this right now. Or just check like Footbin and search by silvers and stuff that have gone up a lot uh, because there are a lot of silvers that have gone up and I think it's probably an opportunity to sell some of those from your club um, unless it's something that you really just want to get an Evo done for. I mean, I don't think, I looked through my club really quick yesterday. I didn't have any of the crazy, crazy expensive players. Um, I, yeah, but I just, I don't know who I want to put into this evolution. There are a couple of Evo possibilities here where you could do a double up um, with some different players. But yeah, there's just nobody for me that I look at my club right now and I'm like, I got to do this Evo for. So it's cool. I mean, I like the opportunity that EA gives us to do stuff like this, but I think the Evo could have been a little bit better. And for 100,000 coins, it almost seems like a little bit of a stretch because of the cost to get that done for the player that you are getting back. So that's kind of the thing there. There's also a lot of rumors and a lot of kind of glitches going around with evolutions right now. It seems like EA actually did fix the... Um, in progress evolution like glitch thing but in doing that they've also messed up some stuff like i've heard that people that have quick sold evolutions uh or even put them into an sbc are not allowed to evo that same player anymore still so that's a little bit of a problem um i don't know there's some really weird stuff going on with evolutions right now with some of that so yeah just try to steer clear of that because that seems like a problem that probably is not going to be fixed if i'm being completely honest um so hopefully you're not having any issues with that but let me know if you are down in the comments because i heard a lot of people talking about that yesterday other things to point out guys uh ea uh this is a little side note from content but it's kind of part of content right the direct communication account here posted uh, that they're opening a feedback portal it's a beta but it's a feedback portal 
that makes it very easy for us as the users of this game to directly share feedback with them. I filled this out yesterday. You can fill it out like unlimited number of times. I think it says around here, uh, don't forget you can do multiple portal submissions since each entry is structured around a single topic. There's a bunch of topics in there. Um, you know, it's kind of specific to the part of the game that you want to go into you do have to sign into your account so they're going to know who's leaving the review technically uh like i did the first one yesterday i said ai defending is like way too strong like you know in the box crowded the defenders can you can just control your cdm and then the center backs and everything are defending for you and that's why the byline cutback is so popular this year because that's what you kind of have to do to score, right? So I, I said that. Now, it's very interesting to look through, but, I mean, this is, I don't know. A lot of people were, were ranting in their minds even off of this and in the chat yesterday on stream because it was just like, why are you releasing this in March? This is something that would have been very helpful towards the beginning of the game to actually make changes that we would have wanted to see. But really, this is hopefully something that will make changes for FC25 since they're probably in the middle of planning for all that, putting that all together, and making that game we'll see but that is something that was dropped yesterday and you know whatever you think of it let it let it be but it is it's a little funny to be completely honest but that is there and at least they're uh, looking for a little bit of feedback so that's that and then we did have a leak that is kind of pointing us in a certain direction for this friday's promo or lack thereof the showdown evolution is set to come to ultimate team soon it should feature players from showdown SBCs. in my opinion this is going to be an evolution to put a player in this that did not win the showdown from a previously released showdown um, matchup and they didn't get upgraded and you'll now be able to put them into the showdown to upgrade the cards. That's how I see it. I don't know when this is going to be released, but the fact that this is being leaked makes me think that we're getting that showdown series promo just like last year, this Friday, and that we are not getting foot birthday. So that's one thing to kind of watch out for. Um, again, you know, if we see a loading screen, we'll be surprised or whatever. But with all the showdown rumors that are floating around right now, that seems to be very, very popular. And then also yesterday, we had UCL games in action. And if you're a fan of Bayern or if you did the Kimmich SBC or upgrade, finally was realized they completed the comeback. Kimmich is going to go to a 91 rated, get an upgrade for advancing to the quarterfinals. Um, this upgrade will probably take place on Friday. So he got upgraded and Donnarumma is getting upgraded. But of course, the loser in this scenario is Ganduzi with Lazio. Uh, he was all the way at 280,000 coins yesterday at his peak. And I did see him as a low point at like 130. What is he right now? He's like 130,000 coins. He has dropped off a ton. I think he should be a little bit lower than this. I know he's got the hair trade in game, and those stats are pretty nice. But I think he should be a little bit lower comparatively to like, you look up Le Melu compared to this card, who Le Melu is going to be an 88 rated card today. It's not too far off from Ganduzi. I know it's different in game and they're different players and such, but Le Melu is 25K. This card's 135K. I don't know. Maybe it's just Ganduzi, the name is keeping his price inflated. But watch out for Donnarumma and Kimmich to be upgraded here soon. We got more games today, so watch out for the live cards that are in those games as well. Now let's get into the action about today, right? The fantasy cards, the upgrades that are coming because probably you and me both are very excited for some specific upgrades today. I know all of us have packed most of the fodder cards, right? You know, some of the lower rated ones. Um, you know, Politano. I've got Politano in my club. I think this is the most hype card for upgrades today because he is getting not one, not two, but three. He's earned three upgrades after a crazy first couple of games for Napoli. This is the most exciting card that is getting upgraded today, and it's not even close, right? There is one that's kind of close, but this one getting three upgrades is crazy. Now, I told you guys, and I showed you already, that I sold my Politanos into the hype because he's getting all three of these upgrades. He's actually even gone up a little bit further, right? This is foot.gg's tracker. It's going to help you keep track of who is getting upgraded today. If you want to go to, and find this, just go foot.gg, click on the tab up here in the top left, and then Fantasy FC Tracker. That's where you can get to this link. It is very helpful. It is the best tracker that I've found personally um, anywhere so far. This guy's 58,000 coins. Guys, I'm selling into the hype. This is one thing as we start to get further and further on with these upgrades and we start to see these cards get upgraded. When you start to get more and more upgrades and your upgrades start running out, like after Politano, he's going to look like a crazy card today and there's going to be hype for him. He might go up after he gets upgraded a little bit because his stats are going to be mental, right? We're talking a card that's probably going to have 92 pace, 92 dribbling, almost 90 passing and shooting, right? He's going to be cracked. But the fact that he was so cheap, 20,000 coins in his first release, only one play style plus, so many people had invested, very, very packable card. 
I do believe that he could start to be sold off at some point after the upgrade today, even before the upgrade as well, because the hype for the upgrades and the card stats going up maintains these prices so much. Yes, I know this card's going to become 90 rated, which is, means he's probably not going to go any lower than 50k, so I don't really expect him to drop much. He could go up a little bit more. All I'm saying is a lot of people have been waiting for this moment for the cards to sell them, and when there's not very many upgrades left... What's the hype in that card, apart from it looking cracked from the stats it already got? That's the worry that I have. That's why I would sell into the hype if you still have a Politano. That's just my opinion. You can hold if you want to. I could see him going up further today because that card's going to look crazy and he's the most hyped card. But I'm also trying to tell you that selling in hype is the safest thing to do with live cards all the time. Now, with that one... He's kind of in a land of his own, right? He's the only card getting three upgrades today. If we look through the rest of the squad for players that are getting upgrades, right? Tevez, he's going to go up to a 92 rated card today. Company for, again, Manchester City, going to go up to a 92 rated card as well. With the heroes, it's a bit interesting because it's, it's possible that City could score seven goals in the next couple of games. Maybe not against Liverpool. They'd have to go crazy against wherever they're playing after Liverpool. Who knows? Um, so that's what you're kind of watching for a guy like Company and Tevez. But, man, some of these card prices are still so crazy expensive. Yeah, it seems maybe a little smart to take some of the coins on the really expensive heroes. But a lot of the cards that are getting upgraded today are only getting a plus one for, like, one singular upgrade, right? Marquinhos, plus one for the clean sheet. Still has a lot of upgrades to go. Declan Rice, very close to a bunch of other upgrades, getting a plus one today. Um, you know, Ferland Mendy, this card's ridiculously expensive. I don't know why he's 7 million coins. That's a card that really shouldn't be 7 mil, but he's probably going to get another upgrade the next game that they play with the win and the appearances next week. He might go... Um, oh, sorry, he already got upgraded, I think. Yeah, he already got upgraded. Sorry, he's going to go to a 92 next week, most likely, if they win and he plays. So he's not getting an upgrade today. Um, Iago Aspas, 89 rated, right? So he's a 35,000 coin card. Um, other cards that are going to upgrade today. Ooh, Timo Werner. This is a big one, right? I know a lot of you guys did the Timo Werner SBC. Obviously, this is not one that is impacted by the market, but it's one that a lot of people are going to want to see the stats on the card and then go out and use him today. We're looking at a Timo Werner upgrade. It's a singular plus one. But the fact that he's so pacey already with that 95 pace, we're probably looking at a Timo Werner who is 90 rated with 96 pace, 89 shooting. Uh, you know, with these plus one upgrades, they'll probably give plus two in one or two different areas on the card too. I could see Werner going to 89 dribble, 84 passing, and maybe like 44 defense. Usually for the strikers, they upgrade like the least two you know, usable stats of the card. I would love it if they gave him plus two shooting or dribbling, but I don't think that's going to happen for a guy like Timo Werner today. So for the plus ones, it's basically plus ones across the board, maybe one or two stats getting a plus two, but that's the hype, right? If you have a card, you're like, oh, my Timo Werner's getting better today. That's hype, right? You want to go out and use that card. So that's the thing that I would say for like a Timo Werner. A Grealish, I actually just picked up this Jack Grealish because he was 440 yesterday. He's 480,000 coins now. This is the type of card, as a lot of these are, that I don't think are going to drop much today. I don't think they're going to drop too much, especially if they are healthy players that are going to continue working and progressing towards the upgrades. I don't expect panic, really, on many of these other cards today, because if they're getting a plus one, they still have so many upgrades left, and they're really close to them, right? Um, you know, like Bajorno, one clean sheet, already got that, but he is one win away, two appearances away from getting another plus two potentially next week, right? Um... You know, Shalhanov goes a bit of a different situation because he's getting an upgrade today, but the only thing he can really do to get more upgrades is maybe if he somehow scores in the last game, if he comes back from injury, and if the club uh, scores three more goals in the next two matches, which is looking very possible for Inter. You've got, of course, Politano. Konate is getting a plus one today, going to 88 rated. Matson, who I've invested a decent amount in, is going up to 88 rated today as well. And again, guys, for a lot of these, some of them are still a little overpriced. I'm worried about Matson. I'll be honest. I've invested in him. I'm slightly worried about him. But I feel like the hype of these cards upgrading is going to help some of the rest of the ones that maybe still have room to go and room to upgrade. I think it's just going to help people be ex more excited about these cards today. That's why I picked up a Grealish as well. Grealish is getting upgraded. But it's also like, man, Grealish is actually not that far away from picking up some more upgrades, right? Like I bought him at 450 and he's now almost 500,000 coins at the moment. You're starting to see, this is what I'm the point I'm trying to get across. You're starting to see other card prices move up a little bit on some of these live cards because people are looking at them and saying, "Okay, the upgrades are getting near, they're getting close. Like 
I want to buy into these cards because it's just hype when cards get upgraded. Look at Orban, 37,000 coins. Geese is going up 680k. She's not even getting an upgrade. She hasn't played any games yet, but her price is starting to rise because people are getting hyped for these upgrades. Even the same thing with Griezmann, right? Marquinhos, he's getting one. Delict, this is kind of a crazy situation with Delict. He is up over 100,000 coins yesterday. Yesterday's game in Champions League does not count for Delict's card and at all. Uh, some people are saying, Nate, you know, it's it's Kimmich getting upgraded. It's making Delict's price go up. I don't know. If you look at Delict's graph, he started to go up right during the game, and it was kind of a big spike like this, but it's neither here nor there. These cards, especially the ones that are out of packs like Grealish and Delict, they're starting to rise because they're just more hype for them. And with the upgrades today, it's going to get people more excited to want to go and try these cards out. So I don't think there's going to be a bunch of dropping prices because really right now, what's the reason to panic? Like on the Iago Aspas that I bought for 30,000 coins, I'm not selling. There's no way. Even Matson, like, I'm a little worried about him, but I'm in this for his upgrade potential this weekend. So I don't think there's any reason to panic sell really any of these cards. Uh, Le Melu, who I bought for 21, 22K, it's not like 27,000 coins. These guys are really starting to go up as a lot of people are investing, but also as we get the upgrades today, hopefully the 86 is good to 88. That's big for today's rating uh, increase system as well. If they follow the team of the weeks, which I hope they do, that's actually massive for a card uh, like Le Melu. So we're going to watch that very closely, but I don't think many of the fantasy cards are going to drop today because I think that most people are going to continue to hold on to them as they're looking for more upgrades to come out this weekend. But it will for sure create some more cards that people want to look at and just say, wow, that card got upgraded. That card looks very good. I want to now go and try it out because it got upgraded stats. So that's kind of the biggest thing with what is going on today. Those upgrades should happen right around content or maybe right after. There's so many cards they have to update today, so it might take a bit. Uh, but that is something to watch out for today as well. Other Wednesday news is the 87 plus icon pick is refreshing, running it back. This icon pick. I did it. Got absolutely shafted. I don't know if I'm going to do it this time. I might do player species instead. But if you have fodder like I do, a lot of 89s, if you have any fodder from like the 85 to the 90 range, just got to get it lazy listed today. I'm not telling you to sell the fodder really because still, if we have an SBC promo that is coming ahead with not a lot of people probably opening packs, starting to save packs for full birthday with the best of re-release being in and not new promo cards, I would expect fodder to potentially do well in the next week. So I'm going to say lazy list that fodder today. I'm going to be lazy listing my 89s. Hopefully they can keep going up. They're 32,000 coins at the moment with a lot of hype of exchanges. This refreshing today with an 88 rated squad. I'm hoping that fodder can do bits, rise up a little bit. And uh, it could be a good day to collect some sales on or list, at least list for lazies. Or if you want to really craft that player pick, you will have the opportunity to do so with the exchanges, with the 84 times 5, and all the SBCs that are refreshing today as well. And another piece of content that's kind of expected to come today too via SBC is Telemans. Now, just like Toribo yesterday, EA didn't say we were getting any of these SBCs this week, and now they're going to drop Telemans and Toribo. I'm actually kind of excited for Telemans, guys, because this is the type of player that, like, doesn't get any promo cards, like, almost very often ever. But when you take a look at his card in-game, he's got potential, all right? He's got potential. If EA do this card right... It could be good. Of course, they're sitting fourth in the Premier League right now as well. They play Spurs this weekend, so this card will be in the game, live and active for that big matchup. He's four-star, five-star base. Medium, medium. We need a work rate upgrade, whether it's medium high or high medium, one or the other, or high high. That's fine. Change that um, and give him pace. He needs plus 30 pace. All right, 80 pace is probably the minimum. 79, we could maybe get involved if it's a cheap price, but it's got to be a huge pace upgrade. But man, look at the play styles, guys. He's got pinged pass he's got incisive pass long ball and power shot if they add two or three more in here and give him one playstyle plus maybe two playstyle pluses this could be a really nice card for a prem center midfielder i mean if they make it a nice card it's probably also going to be expensive but um man he's had some promo cards in the past that were like good budget options to use so i'm a little bit excited for this one today and hopefully it is a good one. This is supposedly dropping today on this game. Uh, again, even though EA said that we're not getting any of these SBCs, it wasn't on their weekly content tweet. I guess we are getting some more of those. Just needs the big pace boost for sure. Now, also, we got to talk about the new team of the week that is coming today. Big name player is headlining it, right? We got the shirt on today. We got the Messi shirt with the logo, right? Yesterday, I literally packed Messi from a um, Exchange 89 pack right after we were talking about this leak. Mike Theory was going crazy. 
Leo Messi is coming in Team Olympic 25. If you watched the game or heard about the game, he had, I think it was, he had two goals and one assist. Or maybe it was two goals, two assists. But Suarez kind of outshined Messi. But Suarez is not in the game. So he can't get a team of the week. So they're giving it to Messi instead. Oh, yeah, EA get to sell more packs because it's Messi. Regardless, um, he's getting an inform. Probably going to get two playstyle pluses. A lot of people are saying, oh, my goodness, is this going to be an affordable Messi that will have a dynamic image and, a, and boosted stats? Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, this is probably still going to be a messy card that's 91 rated. It's going to come in at a million coins or more because of the fact that he'll have two play style pluses. I don't know what they'll give him. Uh, he had a header goal in that game. Imagine they give him power header. That would be kind of banter. Um, but we'll see what they end up doing for his card today. Should be just 91 rated. But he's in the team of the week as well as Osaman getting another team of the week right now. And then Foden is in Team of the Week as well. So Foden, Osman, and Messi are your leaked Team of the Week cards that will be coming today in this game as well. Those are the biggest news pieces for what is happening today in this game. If you're still grinding the menus and you want to make some coins right now, I would just tell you to do the grindy things on the market. Get on bids. Look on these out-of-packs cards yesterday, right? And Kunku, we were talking about this on stream. This card went from 650,000 coins. People were starting to panic for the re-release that is coming this weekend, right? He went all the way down to 500K. He's back to 600,000 coins. The fluctuations on even some of these live cards that are rare are so crazy. They're moving all over the place. Just go find some footbin graphs that, that you um, can afford. I picked up a Viali yesterday for 330 and sold it for 370. Bro's 400,000 coins now. That's just a rare card that that sells. That's just a rare card that sells, right? So that's what I would tell you to look for on the market is out of pack specials if you want to grind it. And then also, of course, watch these fantasy cards because there's so much hype with the upgrades. Last thing to talk about. Two player of the month leaks. We had them yesterday, right? We mentioned it that it was coming. Probably later on this week, we'll get Syria and Prem player of the month. Rasmus Hoyland is coming as a Premier League player of the month player. His SBC is going to be Friday, and I don't think he's going to be that good of an SBC. I honestly don't think he is going to be good, guys. I hope they give him two play style pluses. I hope he's 88, 89 rated, but I could see him being 88 rated, super cheap, and just not as good. I'm a little bit. I guess pessimistic on this one, but I'm just kind of keeping it real. I don't think the SBC is going to be that crazy, but he has won the award. And uh, I mean, they did juice McGuire up a lot when uh, he won a couple of months ago, but that's going to be on Friday. And then also Serie A player of the month is going to be Dybala. This one could actually be good. He needs to get a four-star weak foot. He's got three different cards that are 89 rated in this game. He's in the current team of the week with an 89 rated in for him. Um, his only other card with four-star skills is the 89 Winter Wild Cards with Trivella Plus. So, really hoping that EA gives him a 90-rated player of the month, which they should, because they, could go, they should go above this most latest inform here. So, he should be pretty comparable to the Winter Wild Cards with better stats, hopefully, and a four-star weak foot. That would be immense. It would be a really, really good card, and if it's a decent price could be a very, very good SBC. But that is the leak for the player of the month. They're going to be coming later on this week. And guys, that's the video for today. I've got my coins invested in quick flips. I'm lazy listing my fodder. Lazy list. This Madsen sells for like 42, 43K right on the market. We just looked. I get lazies at 49 to 53K with chem styles. He sells. List up your cards, especially the fantasies, because people are going to want to be trying out these players today as there are upgrades that are getting paid out. So that's the big hype for today in this game. If you're excited for the upgrades today, if you're ready to see your card get boosted stats and go and try them out, drop a thumbs up on the video today. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. If you haven't checked this out there, make sure you get involved. I'll see you guys there. It's been Nathan with Peace out.